Welcome to the Iron Man challenge of Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, we're going to do some gameplay today at uh, Field Marshal level, the top rank in the game. And it's considered to be an Iron Man challenge because uh, the uh, gameplay uh, required is quite different than at uh, lower ranks in the game because there are uh, SS guards in almost every room. And uh, that means that sneaking through the castle with a uniform on just isn't going to work and uh, it turns into basically shooting your way out uh, which gets pretty challenging and uh, so we're going to, uh, to kind of go through that and I'll have a variety of tips and tricks uh, that I share throughout the video which will be helpful uh, at any uh, rank of Castle Wolfenstein uh, and uh, as uh, uh, Matt and Chris on uh, Lost Sectors uh, podcast like to say uh, this is not a review, it's just a couple assholes playing uh, the game, and well, in this case, just one asshole. So, um, I hope you enjoy uh, the video, and uh, we'll be getting started here in just a moment after the final load screen. Okay, here we are in the first room. Nothing new here. Deal with these cards and then open the chest as would be typical. So if you hold down on spacebar, uh, chest, the chest counter will go down twice, twice as fast. And additionally, if you shoot at the chest, sometimes, about 50% of the time, the chest counter will reduce. Like right there, it reduced from 160 seconds down to about 20. Uh, so that can be really useful. Oh, well, uniforms. Great, except it's not going to help us that much for what we're doing today. Um, now the other thing I'm doing is I'm opening the chest, opening the chest before searching the guards, uh, because when you search guards, uh, you only get their gun and bullets if they have more bullets than you do, and that is, uh, I guess, in theory uh, or or uh, the the lore behind that. I don't know if it's actually confirmed with Silas Warner, but. Uh, uh, the lore behind it is that, well, the guns use different kinds of bullets, so you're only going to take the gun and bullets that, uh, that has, has more ammunition. But anyway, uh, given that, it makes sense to loot the chest first, uh, if, since you can shoot at them to reduce the counter, and then check the guards, so you're kind of walking out of the room with the maximum number of bullets. All right, uh, so then another thing is we're going to leave the room and then walk right back into it which is a useful trick to be able to get a preview of what's in the next room. Now, I don't know if this works on emulators that uh, don't uh, use authentic uh, disk drive speed, uh, but uh, it does work on real Apple II hardware and on emulators such as Virtual 2 on the Mac, like I'm using, where the disk drive uh, load times are authentic. Uh, because then when we go up the stairs, uh, there's uh, enough time while the drive is running to press the key to go back down the stairs uh, and by the time the uh, the game engine wakes up again on the other end of the disk load it's already got your down movement key uh, in process and the game AI literally has no chance to uh, react at all giving you that free uh, preview. Now if there's an SS and the SS sees you uh, the SS will chase you even when, when doing that. Uh, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Alright so uh, we're going to go ahead and deal with the room here. We've got to get this vest off of him fast. Well, that's what I didn't want to do and block off the chest with the body, but, uh, Do we need anything? Well, we need bullets. Of course, there's the war plans too, but I'm not gonna go for those. Uh, just in the interest of time, uh, we're just going to see as far how far we can get, hopefully escape. Um, my success rate in my heyday was about 50% at field marshal level uh, in terms of being able to escape. I haven't played in four years. I'm just kind of sitting down doing this cold, so not sure how far I'm actually going to get, but we'll find out. Jeez, it would be nice to have some bullets. Oh, 
Oh, we got an extra grenade there if we need it. Yeah, I'm not using the mod to disable the wall buzzer. And I'm not doing that because it actually it creates a player advantage because when that uh, if you hit a wall or run into a guard and that buzzer goes off, um, you don't have any ability to control your your player uh, for a period of time, and the guards can catch you uh, when that's going on. And uh, since we're playing Iron Man here, <laughs> we're we're not going to take that. Uh, Whoops, advantage. <laughs> okay. Two SSO, we got a whole mess of stuff going on here. So this can oftentimes be a good strategy uh, to uh, just uh, shoot and run out, get the SS to chase you, and deal with them on your terms. Which, of course, is exactly what we did here. Now, notice that I walked out of the room and then and then headed to the right, and and I didn't uh, take him down um, with him standing above me. And uh, basically, what I'm trying to do there is avoid an opportunity for him to shoot at me. Because even with a bulletproof vest on, uh, there is a small percent chance that a bullet will go through a bulletproof vest and kill you. And uh, that's, of course, not good. Uh, and that, and that's, that's a huge deal playing at field marshal level because uh, you don't have any choice but to shoot your way out. And uh, if you don't deploy tactics to minimize the number of bullets that are getting shot at you, the odds are pretty good that, that you're, you're, you're going to get killed, uh, even with the vest on. So, um, we got a problem here in that only one SS chased us, and uh, that happens sometimes where uh, the SS will get lost in the game algorithm, and uh, they'll just kind of show up at random then. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen, and it's kind of unnerving because... Uh, you know, when you when they chase you right out of the room, you can deal with them on your terms. Now we've got to go gallivanting around the castle, and who knows when he's going to show up, and it could end up being at a really bad time. So uh, we'll just have to stay extra cautious here as we go. Oh, actually, he's still in, he's still in the room. He must have a skawaya. Yeah, if a guard doesn't have any, uh, SS doesn't have any bullets, they won't chase you out of the room. So we got to get this vest off quick before the other guard comes down. I only got two bullets, but I'm going to see if I can get this guy. Then, uh, if one of these guards has some bullets, I won't be using them before searching. It didn't quite work out because my two bullets didn't hit him, but that was the idea. It's also not uncommon to, uh, in, in field martial level to find really good stuff in chess early on. Um, the game seems to uh, just do that to take into account the difficulty. So I pressed space bar to stick him up and uh, that's when he did the, uh, the SS noise and that also shifted his movement pattern to walk all the way up which was necessary because because uh, you can't stick up an SS unless they walk right into you. With a regular guard, you can basically try uh, hit spacebar to search them 
at any time your gun is pointed at them when they're adjacent to you and it will just kind of pull them into the stick up and that doesn't work on SS's. So that's why I had to lure them all the way up to be uh, on the same latitude of the, of the screen as where I'm at. All right, up the stairs. Now in doing this, it's important to, to clear every room, even if it looks like you can just kind of breeze right through because you don't know what's in the room after that. And there's so many SS, you know, if we had left uh, this room and gone to the next one, there was an SS in there, we bail out, come back to this room, we might suddenly find ourselves in a shootout where we're dealing with one, two, even three maybe SS's from another room, because there can be up to three in a single room, plus then dealing with the guards in this room. And, and the, the whole key here is control the battlefield and don't, don't let uh, it get out of hand. So when you're, you're, you're at the corner like this and you press space bar, it's basically, you can stick up a guard or irritate an SS right through the wall. Uh, we could throw a grenade through the wall. We could shoot through the wall. Um, I'm not uh, shooting because it's SS and it's not gonna do any good, but, well, why don't we throw a grenade? Let's try that or demonstrate that. Well, we missed him, but that's the, the general idea of how to uh, get the grenade through the wall. Oh, great. Now he has a squire. Of course, I'm making fun of the German diction of the Apple II speaker there. <laughs> uh, it says in the manual the words that uh, these guys actually say, uh, but that one always sounded like squire to me. So here, like this, stick up the yard right through the wall. Now he was coming down at us uh, from above, and uh, that actually uh, has uh, statistically greater chance of, of a bullet going through a bulletproof vest if the guard is shooting at you from above. Uh, I mean, I guess there's a certain logic to it because you're kind of shooting at your head, but given that it's a two-dimensional map, um, it's not really any more at your head than any other direction, but uh, it is actually in the, the algorithm. Uh, and so that's something to be careful of is uh, to not uh, get into gun battles where you're shooting up at a guard that's then shooting down at you. All right, so... Uh, which way to go? Well, the map is uh, randomly generated partially. The path uh, is always the same in terms of the entrances and exits to each room. The contents of the chest are randomly generated, and the walls are inside the room are randomly generated. Uh, so a general rule of thumb is uh, always go right if you can, because the exit to the castle is to the right. Um, however, uh, the exit of the castle is also up five flights of stairs, so that really doesn't matter until then. Uh, and uh, there's, there's plenty of occasions where you actually have to go left or other directions to get to where you go. Um, and uh, I just happen to remember here on level two that uh, we're going to have to go to the left and then down and then to the right. So going over here to the right is uh, it's probably just going to be a dead end room. Yep. So a dead-end room like this, 
uh, we used to call a, a mushroom in the 1980s uh, as uh, as kids when we were playing. I think why would why did we call it a mushroom? Uh, maybe because you 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 mustn't go in there because you know it's a dead end. And at the time we were concerned about. Uh, basically backtracking and getting SS stormtroopers uh, chasing us, you know, the ones that are randomly popping into the room. Uh, and uh, that was before... Uh, that was before I realized or found out uh, how the algorithm actually works for the SS stormtroopers chasing you. Uh, you have to do... Uh, you have to kill guards for one uh, and backtrack. And... Uh, how much backtracking you have to do depends on what rank you are. Uh, when you're private, you know, it, you might have to backtrack like three rooms and then come back. Uh, Field Marshal, I have seen it happen just backtracking one room. So technically we might get one right here. That doesn't always happen, but uh, it's always good to be prepared. And, you know, when you're walking away from uh, an entrance to the room, uh, cover it with your gun just in case an SS shows up. It's not as big of a deal here because we got the dead bodies, but in other cases it would be. is a pickle. And that's, you know, the, the kind of maneuvering uh, in dealing with a, a room with a bunch of guards. It's a lot of precise positioning to, you know, to shoot them or, or stick them up without them shooting at you. Um, we probably could have just lured the two SS out into the room before us and, you know, dealt with them that way. But, uh, you know, it's a trade-off. It, it, it's when you get, when you pull, lure the SS out into the room before you, they're pretty much always going to get one shot off at, at, at you. There's really just not much way to avoid that. And that might be the shot that kills you. So it's just a judgment call on what you want to do with a particular room. I didn't have to leave there, but I didn't know my shot was going to kill the guard. Now, I did that little maneuvering to make sure that I didn't drop the dead body in front of the, uh, the doorway. Uh, because uh, then if, you know, we had to have an SS chasing us and bail into this room, uh, they won't come in if there's a dead body in front of the doorway, just like guards won't normally walk over dead bodies. And then, uh, like we are talking about before, the SS will, uh, that's, that's uh, it can happen even without the dead body in front of the, the entryway, but, uh, um, you know, if there's a dead body in front of the entryway, the SS definitely isn't going to come in, and then it's just going to, you know, be lost in the game, so to speak, and it'll eventually show up, but uh, probably not when you're ready for it. So um, let's go back in. So we can actually get this guy through the wall. doesn't take any more bullets shooting through the corner of the wall than it does normally. That was just uh, bad luck of the random number rolls that caused that to happen. So 
and this guy's got a Roscoe. Well, according to the manual, they're actually saying Achtung, but uh, to, to me, uh, it always sounded like Roscoe, but, uh, you know, maybe that was because when I was playing this in the 1980s, I was watching a little too much Dukes of Hazard. I don't know. going to go to the right, but uh, I only have two bullets, so we'll get some bullets from him, hopefully. Well, no, he's going to go and have a squire. Yeah, but best off just killing him, because otherwise we go to the right, we got an SS chasing us back in, then we get this guy on our ass, so... Now I've compounded the problem by having zero bullets. You can have zero bullets, you can have one bullet. Yep, see, there we go. That's exactly why we didn't want that guy hanging around. So we'll do these one at a time. I hope he's got a few bullets, because the other guy's going to be right behind him. So what we'll do here is we'll use this guy as, as, as a shield as the other SS isn't going to shoot at us through him. So as a result, we're going to be able to get to safer ground here over to the left and hopefully be able to pull a stick up on the other SS. Or, or he can just sit there and hang out and... <laughs> Yeah, that's... I was hoping he was going to walk... The other SS was going to walk down. We might have to grenade this guy. All right, this is going to be timing. We want to shoot the guard and throw the grenade while the SS... Uh, so that the grenade is, is uh, hurling towards the SS while the SS is walking away from us so that he doesn't have a chance to shoot. Now the grenade might miss too. We'll just have to see. Yeah, my timing was a little off and he got a shot off, but it still worked out. So what happened there is uh, when when the, the guard isn't completely level with you, uh, but his head is just kind of about at your feet, if you press space bar to uh, pull a stick up, um, the game just gets quirky and, and, it, and it does that, gone on Roscoe, gone on Roscoe, and keeps repeating that over and over and over because I was just holding down on the space bar. It's like it won't go into full stick up. Um, but uh, he, it's like he can't move because uh, I, I, keep, uh, I keep trying to do the stick up. It's kind of kind of weird. There's not really much of a purpose of doing that other than uh, if you have your gun pointed not quite in the right direction sometimes um, when you're trying to do a stick up and that starts to happen, uh, it's a way, you know, basically don't panic. Keep doing that until you regain your composure and then very quickly switch your gun position and do what you need to do. Um, so we'll just keep going. Huh. 
That's not good. I think I I did something to quirk the game there. Not sure what. To cause the entire clip to be fired without hitting him, that is. <laughs> okay. So to get at this SS, you know, we could we could pull a cowboy maneuver and just kind of dive into his cubby hole there, but that's pretty risky, especially with the other guard there. But we can get at him through the wall with a grenade. Uh, we only have one grenade, so we're not going to do that. But if we press spacebar to do the stick up, it's not going to stick him up because he's an SS, but it'll it'll alert him, and so maybe he'll walk around and open the door, and we can uh, do a stick up up there. Doors are a good place to do a stick up. Because they can't shoot at you until they open the door, obviously, and that's a good thing. Okay, get your ass over here. Come on. Alright, so we're going to have to open the door. Hopefully, he'll come up all the way. No, he's. Got a squire, how lovely with four bullets and all that we have. And I was moving out uh, above him intentionally to try to lure him out or up. Well, let's see, where do we want to take this guy? Because the other SS is going to come in. This he's got a Skawaya too. We just might be best off using a grenade. Boy, bullets are really in short supply this time through. It's not always like that, but it is today. Come through the door. Pull the stick up right here. Or not.
Oh, this is a little bit of a pickle. Any luck, this guy will have some bullets. <laughs> it's the whole business where it says you have zero, zero bullets and one bullets, stuff like that. Uh, that's just uh, the Apple II had such a small amount of memory. Uh, some systems with as low as 48K, uh, Apple II systems as low as 48K, uh, and as mo much as uh, 128K in like the Apple IIe. Uh, 2GS was, of course, even more than that, but regardless, very small amount of memory, and it just would have taken more, more, more carrot, more memory to detect, okay, well, when you have one bullet to, you know, drop off that S there, and not say one bullet, but uh, that's just part of the, the charm of the apple at this point. I think this is level four, and there's five five levels total. He was shooting at an angle, so we weren't really worried about it. Oh, so even when, when it says you have a, got a grenade, like it just did a minute ago, search again, because then you get the keys. Ten bullets. We're back full up here. There I searched a couple times and I kept saying there was a grenade since I already have three. So we couldn't uh, get the keys in that case. Well, I could have thrown a grenade and then picked it up, but you really only need a few pairs of keys. But it, in the beginning of the game, it's more important to make sure you're picking them up. to clear the room but I think we're okay here because even if an SS came in behind us we'd be able to deal with them before the other guy got down there.
Just a judgment call. Might have used the same logic here. I could probably take care of an SS before this guy would get to us if there was an SS chasing us from the next room. But, well, what if there were two? <laughs> that was my thought there. Two might have been difficult to deal with. Like that, two. Okay. time. So now what I actually did there was I deliberately ran into him uh, and that's in a situation like that basically that's the surefire way to make sure that you get him into a stick up as quickly as possible uh, because if you run into a guard that's walking towards you it's going to default into a stick up state that will last longer than the crazy screen buzzer uh, the risk there is if there's another guard that can get at you while that's going on but the guard that's actually walking towards you if your gun is pointed will end up in a stick up and uh, that was safer in this situation than just continuing to stand where I'm at because uh, he, he may have been able to get one more shot off at me. So that was the logic there. Uh, I've probably done that a few times previously. Oh, I gotta waste a bullet on his squire. player needs to go back to the firing range. Can't hit worth a damn. Well, we have one bullets again. Hopefully he's got some. Okay. Now we've got a persistent grenade. Sometimes with three grenades and you search a guard, it says they have a grenade, then you search them again, and then they just have keys. Sometimes when you have three grenades and you search, and the dead body has a grenade and you search again, and it still has a grenade, that's what I call a persistent grenade. I don't know why it does one versus the other, uh, but if they're in this situation, we've got an SS in the room, we've got three grenades, we got an extra on the guard that we know is going to be there. It seems like this is maybe a good time to grenade an SS. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, it would help if he was actually there when they threw the grenade. So we'll go, we'll get, go and get our 
grenade back. I don't know what I was doing there with throwing that one. That was a waste. Ooh, empty rooms. These used to freak me out uh, as a kid in the 80s. Uh, empty rooms, I was always just paranoid that an SS was going to show up, thinking that that somehow increased the chances. I know now from the algorithm that it actually doesn't. It has to do with killing guards in rooms, then backtracking and, uh, and doubling back again and things like that. But uh, I didn't know that then, and it just, you know, the, it, it heightened the tension of the game uh, even more, which was already pretty substantial. Uh, not really understanding when the random SS were going to show up just caused the whole game to be uh, an event of very, very high tension. I mean, not that it is in any way, but even more so. <laughs> yep. Got to get this vest fast. And I bailed out there because that guard was shooting up at us, and even with the vest, there's a chance that he could still kill us. gonna get an SS chasing me. try to just take this room as it stands here. And again, I canned my gun into the SS to uh, stick them up as quickly as possible. I mean, you still got a few shots off, but... This was an unnecessary high-risk maneuver here. I could have lured the SS into the other room, uh, but sometimes it's just fun to take down a room that's complicated like this, complicated because there's no walls and it's high exposure, and that's just fun to do, so I took a chance. doing the old stick up through the wall. I, I think I talked about this before, but uh, you can do this on walls to the uh, a corner where uh, you are, uh, where the corner is, is up and to the right of you or up and to the left of you. So you're pointing your gun using the I or P keys. Uh, those are the only scenarios it works. <laughs> Come on, get your ass down here. Oh, we got a persistent grenade there. Sometimes, uh, 
just to know that's an option for the next room. Like this. What did he call me? A Gadai goat? Some kind of goat? Alright, these stairs go up to, I think, level 5, which is where the exit is. So we're doing good here. Go for you right here. Oh, now he's probably got a squire. He didn't chase me, so that seems, yep. No bullets. Yeah, I better take him out. Just in case there's two SS in the next room or more, it could get hairy to have him hanging around here. And this is where uniform still does help, even in the shoot your way out of the castle mode, because it's going to be a lot easier to safely stick this guy up. seen a room with three SS yet. They do exist, but uh, not, not on every map that's built. We'll see if we get one. Which is interesting, you know, to see how many SS you can get in a room at a time before the game, the game algorithm freaks out. Uh, I've tested it a couple times, and the answer is six. And when the seventh guys come into the room, the game just freaks out, and it goes into a loop and constantly makes the SS sound. It says SS, 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 over and over and over again. Until you kill one of the SS and then the seventh becomes the sixth and is able to enter. Uh, and uh, Field Marshal level is a really... is a really good place to, to do that because if you can find a room that has three SS um, and then you only need to find four more uh, in individual SS rooms to get them chasing you. Uh, and we actually, uh, I made a video of uh, doing that uh, four years or so ago on, when I last played. And it's a uh, link is posted to our uh, Masters of Wolfenstein page for uh, Masters and Aspiring Masters of Castle Wolfenstein. Check out wolfenstein.6502workshop.com. And that, uh, that video is there showing uh, 
six SS in a room on a seventh train to get in, and uh, it's pretty funny. So you can actually have it where, you know, you walk into a room and you land right, you're standing right on top of a guard. And if you're not doing the technique of exiting the room right after you enter it, uh, it'll be like you ran into the guard and you'll get the wall buzzer uh, thing that freezes up the controls and makes the screen go crazy. And if there's another guard next to you, then he can catch you. So that's a design flaw. Uh, and using this uh, tactic of uh, entering a room and immediately exiting is a surefire way to avoid any problems with that design flaw, but that can happen. Not in every castle map, but uh, uh, just another thing to be aware of. So he must, the SS must have a Skawaya. Oh, no, he just wasn't alerted before. Okay. Well, that's what happens sometimes. Uh, they start shooting at uh, you from above, and there you go. Uh, even with a bulletproof vest on. <laughs>